to get started, I just added a quick audio sample of me talking that I like to add some reverb to to my timeline. I'm going to give this audio some reverb. I'm going to begin by making a cut at the point where I want the reverb to start ringing out. For you, this will probably be right before your last beat if you're doing music. Then right click that cutout end clip and select Nest. Double click the nested sequence to open it up. Drag your original audio file you imported below it in the nested sequence. Make sure that the bottom audio clip is selected and go up to Effect Controls. Under Volume, change the level to negative 1000 which will translate to negative infinity and completely mute your bottom track. Alright, now drag the end of the muted clip to however long you want your reverb for the top clip to ring out for. Okay, we're done messing around inside the nested sequence so let's go back to the original composition. Drag the end of your nested clip to extend it with the silence audio we just created. Now go over to the Effects tab. Type Reverb into the search box. Drag one of the reverb effects onto the nested clip. I'm just going to use Surround a Reverb. Then go up to Effect Controls for your nested clip. Click the Presets button next to your reverb effect. Select the preset of your liking. I'm just going to use From the Front. Okay, now when I play this back, my audio will reverb out. I'm going to give this audio some reverb. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.